reminds us all the time, the church has never been closed, even though the building itself was closed, but our hearts and our minds were still stayed on Jesus. Tell your sister Martha not to moan. My name is Deacon Michael R. Baker, and I am been here at St. Stephen for a few years. Oh, if I live for a couple more months, I will be 75. And all those years, I can probably say I've been a member of St. Stephen because my father, Percy Baker, was one of the founders of this church mm. back in 1926. My brother was also the pastor of about five years, Benjamin Stanley Baker. Jesus said, Mary. Nevertheless, I want to say that St. Stephen has been blessed to have well-educated preachers. Reverend B.J. Miller Sr., our first pastor, had what we call an academic, an earned Ph.D. It actually took him like three years, if not longer, to get it. And he obtained his PhD during the days of what we had called day law. Day law in the state of Kentucky meant that black children and white children could not attend the same classroom together. Him and two or three other black guys sit outside the hall to listen to the lectures. And that's how they obtained their PhD from Southern Baptist Theological Seminary. But by having Pastor Cosby as a visionary, he has led St. Stephen in the way I know the Lord would have us to go. Not only that, but we've had people that really have loved this church, many men who have sacrificed, have worked around this church and wouldn't take a dime for their service. Great women to help to make this church what it is today. Speaking of women, I, my mother might shake me up if I didn't mention her. With that being said, I'm Deacon Mike R. Baker, and uh, I pray that all of you are doing well, and uh, hope to see you soon. No, 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 just tell your sister, mother.